Thursday, y'all, from Colorado. Well, we have an issue. Oh my gosh. We are actually at a park and ride ranger station right outside of Avon, Colorado. About a mile back, we got a warning light that our brake air pressure was low. So we had to pull it over. We found this spot and oh, we have an air leak. So Jason just got an Uber. There is a auto parts store about two miles back west. On the, We're on I-70 right now. So he just got an Uber to go get the parts to hopefully be able to fix it because we don't have enough air pressure to move the truck at all. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh my gosh. Uh, darn the luck, you guys. Darn the luck. But we are right now, oh gosh, we are 110 miles from our pickup. We've already called the agent. He knows about the delay. At least the shipper is open until 5. It is 10.30 local time right now. So as long as Jason can get their correct parts to get this fixed, we'll be back up and running and get there and get this picked up. Which that's why, see, that's why we don't tell you about these loads until we get them picked up because you just never know what's going to happen. Breakdowns, the load cancels, although we never have that happen very often, but it does happen. So that's where we're at. I think we told you our deadhead, maybe we didn't tell you. I know we told you we had a deadhead, but our deadhead was about um, a little over a thousand miles. Of course, we've been running all night. And when I, Jason took over last night, ooh, and he got a cool night shot when we did our driver swap, I'll insert it so you can see it. If you haven't seen it on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, guys. I know I've been saying that in the last couple of videos, but Instagram is where you'll get more real-time updates. Our videos are always a week behind. We do post more on Instagram, more real-time stuff. That's the place to follow us, too, if you're not. We also have a Facebook page, and yeah, so follow us there too if you want. Man, this drive, I know we've said this in previous videos, but this drive on the 70 through Colorado is gorgeous. I'm sure you saw some of the footage before this clip, but oh my gosh, it is just so beautiful through here. There was another part through Utah on the 70 that's also beautiful, but that's when we went through there in the dark, so we couldn't get any footage. We've gotten footage through there before, but... Man, it just never gets old coming this way through uh, on the 70 through Colorado, Utah. Beautiful. And it sucks because we don't get this way too terribly often. So it's nice when we do when it's daytime and we can see the beautiful scenery. And of course, there's still a ton of snow on the ground here. Uh, all right. So I'm just waiting for Jason to get back and we'll update you. Fingers crossed we can get this fixed and get rolling. Probably our second worst day in trucking. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. So it is several, several hours later from when I did the clip letting you know what happened. We are somewhere <coughs> in Kansas now, but we did get it repaired and we got picked up. Yeah. Didn't lose our load. Didn't lose our load. Let's just tell you about the load real quick. It's actually, it is one o'clock in the morning right now. I just finished my shift. Jason's taking over. This is a, this is kind of different. We, we never film at night, but Jason's got these fancy got new lights, lights now. So, ooh, try to try to get trying something different for you guys. <laughs> but our load picked up in Colorado, which we deadheaded for. We told you that. Yeah. And it's going to Maryland. So it's, it's not a lot of miles. It's about six. A little over 1,600 miles. We had a 1,000-mile deadhead for it. We did, but all miles made sense to do that. And then... For, for anybody who thinks you can never make any money with that many-mile deadhead, all miles is a dollar eighty nine. Yeah, so. which is not bad. Not bad. No, when we got five pieces at 800 pounds. So yeah, not all loads are that 
the good of paying, but you know, this one was, so we jumped on it. Yeah, so. absolutely. And we get to deliver this Saturday. We're actually getting offloaded Saturday, which is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be cold over there in Maryland, 30s, no. 20s at night, but... We usually do good out of there, though. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. fingers crossed we'll, we'll get get us something good out of there this next week. But you want to tell them what happened with the... Ha. Oh, my gosh. Huge. I, I mean, whoever put that thing together. And believe me, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to crawl under there with the camera and show you guys what happened at, by the end of this video. Um, but where the leaf spring and the air tank are, they're very close together. Now, whoever put this fitting in the air tank, I don't know what they were thinking, but they put it uh, in one of the openings that were way too close to the leaf spring. So what happened was the leaf spring, every time the truck would bounce or turn, the leaf springs have shackles that, that sway back and forth to, uh, to allow give and allow bend in the, the leaf spring. Well every time that shackle would bend backwards it was pushing right into this plastic valve coming out of the air tank so just i mean not it didn't take long we barely hit 10,000 miles tonight um it just cracked a hole in the the, the fitting and leaked out all the air yeah luckily we were where it happened was like right before veil and i think i told you in the clip i did in avon avon colorado and <laughs> there we were able to pull off if, if it would have happened on that stretch of 70 before that oh my gosh yeah that could have been bad we would have been we, stuck on the side of the road now there were no truck shops or dealerships or anything where we were at but luckily this part is a pretty common part that you can get it's a uh, air fitting you know so i went to uh, we found a car quest yeah shout out to car quest in avon colorado because that guy yeah they were really awesome yeah um i i, I got an uber there got all the way over there got uh, i didn't know the exact fitting i needed so i bought a bunch uh bought some spare airline just in case i needed a, um, a quick connector uh, splicer just in case and lo and behold none of those fit so I had and instead of making me get another uber ride to go back to get the the right one because I pulled the broken part off they sent one of their drivers up to pick us up pick me up and bring me over there with the part and we matched it up and got the right fitting and i crawled back under there but let me tell you it was absolutely freezing cold what was oh high gosh, it was... 33 34 i think outside <laughs> the sun was out but then they'd, they'd get gusts of wind gusts of wind oh my gosh, it, it, it was, was absolutely freezing and all the snow on the ground so here I am crawling under the truck in packed snow that had been um, plowed over on. <laughs> then the sun came out and started beating on it and started melting all the snow, which just created a river of water going right underneath the truck. So I'm under the truck getting wet, dirty, cold, ugh. And I'm I'm a big boy, so I mean, trying to get under the oh. truck, even even finding a place to get under it, because we have so much stuff lined up along each side. We got uh, the the one box, we got uh, a toolbox, we got the fuel tank, the fuel oh, the tanks, generator. the generator, oh, the gosh. you know, uh, uh, air tanks, uh, the DEF tank, another toolbox. <laughs> so I'm I had to crawl under all the way at the back section and slide all the way to the front section to get under here. So uh, one of the park rangers where we we're parked at, we found a parking spot in a, in like a people park their cars yeah, and like a parking ride, a park and ride kind of thing. But yeah. there was a park ranger. He brought me uh, over like a, a cardboard box that I was able to break apart and use as a, a kind of lay on top of but towards the end of after finishing fixing this fix or fixing the f no, you don't fix a fix you <laughs> repairing, the <problem. laughs> repairing the problem um 
the box was soaking wet, falling apart because of all the water that had started melting, or rain or snow that started melting. And you were half wet. Half wet. And I had just drove all night. Yeah. Like it, I was nearing the end of my shift, you know, and yeah. it, it, it was not fun. It was not fun. Luckily, though, we did get it fixed. And, you know, it's just one of those things that happens. And, yeah, luckily we didn't have to call a tow truck. Luckily we didn't lose the load. I mean, we just yeah, yeah. We just deadheaded a thousand miles. You know, I had so we basically had two options: uh, call Freightliner, get towed, and uh, to get it fixed, or find the problem, fix it myself, and keep our load. You know. Yeah. And that was my number one goal: is keeping our load, especially after deadheading a thousand miles. I know. Yeah. You know, you deadhead that many miles and then don't get the load. That's yeah. And, and that's a risk you take sometimes when you deadhead that many miles for a load. And we had been sitting in California. We dropped our last load the Thursday prior. Yeah. So, so. yeah. And if we would have called Freightliner to send a tow out, which it, that would all have been covered under our warranty. But who knows how long that would have taken. Yeah. The closest Colorado, or the closest Freightliner was Denver, which we were still a couple hours out from there. Yeah. Yeah. So Two hours out from Denver. Luckily, we're That would have took lucky. forever, and we would have... I mean, to get towed for an airline, it's like... But I, it just looking at where they mounted this thing, it's... I, and I'm going to be doing... I, while I, I replaced it, I didn't have any large Allen keys to get... Because there's some spare plug sections in there that you can add accessories or whatever you're adding to it. I'm going to move it but I didn't have any Allen keys big enough to get those plugs out to swap where the airline came out of and one of the plugs. So I'm gonna stop and get some. I'm gonna get a better fitting because it's a 90 degree. So it screws into the tank and then it's a 90 degree off. Well, the fitting I got is a 45 degree bend. So it's kind of weird. I had to loosen the, the air tank and slide it over some and it, it's a legal fix, but it's not a perfect fix. Yeah. So, you know, I, I, it's just not a perfect fix and so i and i am a perfectionist <laughs> i am far from a mechanic but i am a perfectionist when making sure the thing's fixed right you know yeah. second worst day we've ever had in trucking yeah one of these days we'll tell you about the first <laughs> <laughs> uh, qu uh, real quick uh side of the road minnesota minus 20 degree weather changing uh, fuel filters yeah that was, that was <laughs> windy that and that 20 was degrees like, that, minus 20. That was like when we first got it. It was our first year, I think, first out year. that that happened. First year. Yeah, oh, yeah, gosh, yeah, yeah. That was not But fun. today was definitely no, at least number two. It could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. Well, luckily, you know, we were able to get it repaired. Didn't yeah. lose our load. Yeah. So that's a positive, right? We always try to find the positive. Always find the positive. <laughs> Figure but, out. A, you, and that's, in trucking, find a solution. Yeah. You have to find a solution, you yeah. know, if you just flop over and give up and, you know, say screw it or you, you just have to keep going and find that solution yeah. to fix the problem. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know. I think that has, that's anything in life. You it know? is. Yeah, absolutely. In you life can... in general, if you just have to keep going. Yeah. You know, yeah. find the things happen. For right? you are, uh, there's always constantly problems going on. And how do you find the solution for it? Well, especially like you said, in trucking, there's so many moving parts on these trucks. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be issues. But whoever installed the air tank, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and i'll show you guys towards the end of this video yeah it's after we get right delivered now, yeah really? after we get delivered and hopefully we find a dry spot i can crawl back under there again yeah i need to get one of those creeper crawler crawler crawler, crawler crawlers i don't know what they're i don't know called. you lay on them the and they have wheels and you roll and <laughs> oh, that would have made it a lot easier oh yeah but I i'm Getting ready to take over. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm ready to lay down. It's been a long day. Long. It's been a long, long day. day. So, yeah. All right. Well, you knock out some miles and I'm going to sleep.
doing back there? I am cooking us some lunch. Some what are you doing up there? Uh, chilling. Chilling like a villain, waiting for your lunch? I'm waiting for my lunch. I'm done driving for the day. I'm ready for some sleep. <laughs> Where are we? We're in Indiana. Illinois. Oh, oh we're in Illinois now? Illinois. We, uh, yeah, we just left Troy, Illinois. Uh, that's right. Filled up at the TA. Man, I am getting tired of the TA Petro. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't go to Petro's that often. I don't know if they're having the same problem, but in the past month, almost every single TA that I've been to, the fuel pump buttons never work. At least one button. So like with Landstar, we have to type in our driver's license number and our and what state our license yep. is in. And of course, I got to the X for TX <laughs> and it would not work. I was pushing it, punching it, trying to get it to work, would not work. So I had to walk in and have them turn it on for me, which was ridiculous. That, yeah, that's frustrating when you're trying to fuel and it just, the stuff ain't working. I don't need to go inside. Yeah, we I never, just want to yeah. fuel, get my fuel and go. <laughs> now I have to walk inside. And <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, it is it, ridiculous. Um. I don't know, any of you guys having that problem? If you fuel up at TA and Petro's, are you having problems with uh, the buttons not working at the fuel pumps? Uh, yeah, that's frustrating. <sighs> I'm making us some quesadilla though, chicken quesadillas. I, I've i known about these for a while, but I was gonna show y'all carb balance tortillas. I know if you're doing hardcore keto, these are probably not for you, but for us just doing low carb, man, I've and been, they're pretty good. They're really good. I've been seeing them for a while, and we finally, I finally got some I don't know, a few weeks back, and we are loving these. They're like four carbs per tortilla, so not terrible. You could have two of them, and you're at eight grams for the day. Yeah. And like us, we only eat usually once a day, <laughs> sometimes, yeah, once, sometimes twice. Once and a half. Yeah, yeah once and a half. I yeah. Think. So not bad at all. Four net carbs and mm. We still got, what is it, like 700 miles? Um, a little miles, under eight. Yeah. 800 miles to go. Yeah, we've uh, already. We called our contact and they know we're coming. So mm -hmm. anytime we're doing a Saturday delivery and we have a contact name, we, we like to touch base. Yeah. Say, so, hey, we're coming. You know we're coming? Cool. <laughs> awesome. You know we're coming. Yeah, they know we're coming. They're yeah. waiting for us. Yeah, so. so Yeah, we'll probably, gosh. Get in there early morning and they open at seven, I think. So, yeah, kind of boring today. Yeah, it's gonna be a boring day. Had a little bit of snow going through uh, Missouri. Oh, yeah, we did. It was funny. I had pulled over at the Petro in Kingston. No, it's not Kingston Spring, Kingston something or King something. But uh, we, I stopped there and it was a little cloudy and I let the dogs out and she had just woke up. Then we're uh, like all these clouds started rolling in. It got dark. You couldn't see no more blue in the sky. And then it just started snowing. We're like, oh, we better get going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, yeah. And it, it started snowing pretty good. And we weren't in it long. So, no. yeah. Mm -mm. But I'm a get my grub on when she's done and yeah, then I'm, I'm laying almost down. Done, almost done with yours and I gotta make mine and then I'm gonna jump out, do what I need to do and get on the road and knock out some miles. We'll probably, I don't know, in the next couple of clips, Jason, I'll show you that repair he had to do. Yeah, what, for, it'll probably be Sunday, Saturday, Sunday for us. It'll be in the vlog. It'll be in this video. Yeah. So. All right, cool. Catch you guys later. Well, hello from cold and snowy Indiana. We made it into Indiana. I'm actually east of Indianapolis. I got through there like right at five o'clock, I think right before bad rush hour traffic. 
there was some traffic but it wasn't terrible and i don't know i think i've said this a couple of times but this new truck had this cascadia does so awesome in traffic like oh i just love it but i am at a rest area doing my 30 minute it's, i'm actually doing it a little early i still had a little under four hours to go before i had to take it but I love this rest area here on the I-70, like I said, just east of Indianapolis. It's huge. Like, can you see this behind me? I'm like in the, the secondary parking, but there's all this parking back here. It's huge. I love this rest area. You can always find a parking spot here. Whew, the wind's coming from that way. Let me get back over here. It is 545 local time. I've gotten through a few snow flurries since I took over. Nothing bad, I mean, the roads are good, they're wet, but they're not slick. It is cold though, so gotta keep an eye on the roads. And but the one thing I love about the north is they usually are very good about taking care of the roads. So yeah, usually don't have a lot to worry about. You just gotta worry about all the other idiot drivers that aren't paying attention or <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, man, we're like, oh gosh, I don't even know how far we are now. I should look at that. Let's look. Uh, da, da, da. I know I'm gonna be fueling up at TA in Hebron, Ohio, which is just uh, east of Columbus, Ohio. I'm 175 miles from there. And to our drop, we are 553 miles. So, Doing good time. That'll still put us there right at or before 7 a.m. Good deal, right? Unless barring any unforeseen things, but I shouldn't get into any traffic through Columbus. By the time I get through there, tra traffic will be over. As like I said, it is almost six o'clock now. It is cold. I'm gonna go in, make me another cup of coffee, finish up this 30 minutes and get back on the road. Just wanted to update you guys. Peace. Happy Sunday, fun day from Elkton, Elk Maryland. Where's your jingle? Happy Sunday, fun day from Elkton, Maryland. T.A. to be exact. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made our delivery yesterday yeah. in Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, close to Baltimore. And yep. we decided to head up north to the T.A. here. There are two T.A.'s in baltimore but you don't stay there unless you want to get robbed yeah they're not the greatest plus we wanted to kind of be between maryland closer to connecticut a little bit up north because yeah, no. there are lows that come out so we're kind of in between yeah a little bit closer to the northern stuff but still not far from baltimore if we need to go back there so yeah we'll see man it's a beautiful day today yesterday it was cold it was cold it, it was today, cold last but, night yeah it was High is going to be 60s today, so. Yeah, I've just uh, finished cleaning the inside of the truck, got it all nice and clean. It is spick and span. Jason ran to Home Depot to get some wrenches that we need, Allen keys. Allen bits so I can uh, get those plugs out of the, the air tanks. Yeah, so. And I have decided I'm just going to do a whole video on that repair process. Yeah. Kind of show what what it what I'm having to fix, why I'm having to fix it, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, why don't you just get, it's under warranty, and yeah, I don't want to go sit in a shop and sit in their waiting room with the dogs waiting for them to fix some airline. Um, the parts cost me ten bucks. Less than that, Two actually. Of them. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. I. I, I it was nine dollars and some change and i was all is that the best price you can do and he looks at me like he's like you cheap bastard <laughs> you gotta ask you hey i asked ask. though and he dropped it down to like seven bucks for two of them yeah so this is the broken one yep this is the broken one this screws into the air tank here then it's got a quick connect bit let's see if we can show that but you can see here, this is where it bunched a hole in it from the leaf spring. Uh, you can't see. We'll insert a, a clip of shows uh, the busted part. But we got some new ones. And I bought two of them. So I got two of them for $7. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, Jason, like you said, he's going to just do a whole video that'll come out this Friday. Yeah. yeah. Showing you what he does because 
maybe somebody else has this problem. Airlines? I mean, I know in our M2, we had a problem with, uh, one of our airlines was rubbing up against something for good length of time. I think we had it a year and a half before it happened, but after so long of that airline rubbing up against the frame or whatever it was, it had rubbed a little hole in it, you know, and I, we had had to pull over. We were in like Oklahoma oh, yeah, City. Oklahoma City. Yeah, that's yeah right. I stopped I in Oklahoma it. City. I pulled the airline off, took it in, uh, went, we went to the Freightliner. I asked for a five foot piece of tube to fit the the exact same size and I just replaced the airline and that's what's really cool about these quick connects yeah. you really don't need any tools you just you push up on it and then the airline pulls out and then you just shove your new airline in there so um, really easy thing to fix and air, air leaks happen you know yeah uh, it, it sucks it happened so quick on this one but i'm just glad i think i might have already said but i'm just glad it happened in a place where we were able to stop and get a part to fix it until we could get the exact correct part right because right, right that stretch of 70 we were on if it would have happened before that there would have been nowhere to really stop i mean we would have to stop on the side of the road but yeah not a close place to get parts <laughs> yeah and luckily these kind of fittings are a pretty standard you know airline fitting a uh, simple automotive place at it car quest uh, you know again huge shout out to them for their help yeah, yeah. It, they got us back on the road you know so but now um while it's a legal fix it's not a i'm happy with fix so yeah so we want to fix it we're better. gonna <laughs> i'm gonna fix it better so we won't have the problem again in the future yeah so that's what we're fixing to do and then we're gonna shower and probably just chill the rest of the day yep. fingers crossed we get a good load out of here maybe i don't know if we'll get one tomorrow we usually do good up here so we'll see what we get but yeah, we'll we're gonna go ahead and was that we'll see what happens yeah see what happens we'll go ahead and end this vlog here see where we go next week so oh. thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and tell our next video peace love and expediting